Welcome to Storytime with Ask the Nanny. Find a nook and let's read a book. Today, we will be reading Another Fine Mess by Tony Bunning. Pictures by Sally Hobson. Early one morning, there was a knock on Fox's door. Special delivery, called a squeaky voice. Fox had been out all night and his eyes were still half closed. He opened the door and yawned. (sighs) And a letter was thrust under his nose. Thanks, he said sleepily, trudging back to bed. Fox switched on the lamp and snuggled under the covers to read the letter, which said, Dear Nephew, I will pay you a visit on the next full moon. Sincerely, Uncle Ferdinand. Fox looked at his calendar. Oh no, he cried. The next full moon is tonight. Oh dear, he wailed. My den is a mess. Fox took out his broom and swept the whole house until there was a big pile of trash at the front door. Where shall I put it now? He wondered. He decided to push it outside. As Fox swept the trash along the path that ran around the hill, he noticed a hole in the ground. This will do just fine, he said, sweeping the trash down the hole Then Fox went back to his den to wait for Uncle Ferdinand. In the meantime, Badger woke up to a terrible crash. It sounded as if the roof had fallen in. She jumped out of bed and there in the middle of the living room was a pile of trash. Badger was furious. How did that mess get here? she cried. Badger fetched a broom and swept the trash out of her home, through the woods, and into a deep hole. In you go, she said, as the trash tumbled out of sight. The rabbit family was just about to have some salad for lunch when the trash fell, splat, right in the middle of the kitchen table. They were horrified. Yuck! What a mess, said the children. My poor lettuce, said Mommy Rabbit. Grab a brush, everyone, said Daddy Rabbit. Together, the family brushed the trash off the table, out of their burrow, and around the hill. They found a thick clump of grass to hide it in, and then... They all went home to make a second lunch. Soon after, Partridge finished pecking in the woods for her lunch and returned to the new nest she had built. She was terribly upset to find that someone had dumped all their trash on top of it. What a mess, she screeched. How will I ever clean this up? Partridge gathered some twigs to sweep the trash away from her nest. Finding a hole close by, she swept the trash into it. Then she went back to her nest to lay some eggs. Mole was scurrying through his house when a pile of trash fell, thump, right on top of his head. Oh, goodness me, goodness me, what is this, he said removing a box from his snout. A few sniffs told him it was a pile of trash. I can't have this mess in here, he said, pushing it through his tunnel under the hill. Mole reached his front door. He shoved the trash outside. Then he went indoors to wash his paws. Meanwhile, All the trash rolled down the hill and landed with a clatter, bang, 
crash right at the feet of Uncle Ferdinand, who was on his way to see Fox. What a mess, he said, shaking his head and picking up the trash. When he reached Fox's den, he put it down outside. Look at this trash I found on the road, said Uncle Ferdinand crossly when Fox answered the door. Oh no, wailed Fox, realizing his own trash was back on his doorstep. He was about to suggest putting it down the hole he had found earlier when the mouse family passed by. What wonderful treasures, exclaimed Mrs. Mouse. Do they belong to you? Help yourself, said Fox with a sigh of relief as he led Uncle Ferdinand into his home. I wish all my nephews were as neat and clean as you, said Uncle Ferdinand, proudly looking around the den. I do my best, said Fox with a sly grin. The End We hope you enjoyed Another Fine Mess by Tony Bunning, pictures by Sally Hobson. That's all we have for you today. Come read with us again soon.